Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Uh, now, the rest of participants are connecting. We're going to wait a little bit because the other participants are going to connect. So let's wait a couple of seconds and we're going to start in a minute. Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start the class number 16. That's really positive because it means that we have just four more classes. After this class, we have just four more classes and we finish this course. 
there is something that is really positive because I know some of you have a lot of things to do, right? But well, let's see who do we have here. I know uh, you are ready, right? Here we have Oscar. Good evening, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine, finishing to the, the dinner. Okay, nice. I hope you have enjoyed your meal. Thank you, my friend, for being here. And here we have also Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Uh, well, really good because we are starting unit number four. It's really positive. What about you? How are you doing? Uh, I feel tired. Okay, I know. I you. Really, I feel really, really tired. Okay, my friend. I hope you can go sleep uh, early. I know it's difficult because of the class, right? But yeah. As much as you can, try to sleep. That's really, that's something that we we need. We all need, right? Yes. Thank you, Guillermo, for I... being here. Rosalie, good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, how are you how doing? How are you? Well, I'm really good. Thank you. What about you? Um, fine. Fine. <clears throat> okay. Uh, today, uh, when day, uh, Quiet. Quiet. More or less day. quiet. A very good day. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Now, let's see. Well, Wednesday, uh, two more days, and we, we're going to be on Saturday. Really positive, right? So let's wait a little bit for uh, Sunday. Okay. So thank you for being here. Uh, here we have also Marita, Jose, Elias. Uh, here we have also, well, Alejandra. Graciela, Teresa, Katia. Okay. And the topic of tonight's class is accounting vocabulary. We're going to study vocabulary related to finance, to accounting department uh, area in which um, administration is really important because of the finance. Okay. So class number 16. But before we go to this uh, main topic, here we have this. Who are more gossipers? Okay, but what is a gossip? It's a casual or unconstrained conversation or reports about other people. Reports about other people. Typically involving details that are not confirmed. Look at this. Details and information that are not confirmed or being true. He became the subject of much local gossip, okay? It is very common that in our, in our neighborhood, los vecinos son bien inquietos sometimes. They are really uh, expecting for our information in our workplace, maybe depends in some other places. So let's see, who are more gossipers? You tell me men or women or same i need you to write on the chat okay if you consider men are more gossipers si los eh, hombres son como más chismosos please write men if you consider eh, women are more gossipers please write women or if you think that eh, they are the same the same level write same Okay, three options, men, women, or same. Write in the chat, and then let's see what we think.
Okay, let's see what do you think? What are your ideas? Here we have a question, very simple question. Who are more gossipers, men or women or same? Let's see. And here we have, well, Oscar says, says same, Teresa same, Guillermo same, Marita same, Noé same, Rosalie same. Wow. Like you are coordinated with your answers. Okay. And we need uh, the answer of Gustavo, Evelyn, okay? Uh, maybe some mother, who Alejandra, or John, if you want you if you want to add your opinion. So okay, let's see. Okay, Alejandra says. Same, okay. So I guess you have the similar ideas. Well, uh, same. So in the past, well, I consider in the past, okay, John says women is the only one that says uh, something different. But in the past, it was very common to say or to, to, to think that women uh, were gossipers by nature. It, it is kind of chauvinism. Es un tanto machista ese pensamiento, right? But and even we notice that it is very common to say uh, comments, opinions about any situation. And that is when people add or say uh, details or information that maybe is not confirmed, que no está confirmado. So what? Well, we're going to continue later with this topic. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list, but for this, I will need you to say one of these phrases. Here we have ways to say, I don't know, or maybe I don't know. Okay, the first one is, I have no idea. The other is, I don't have a clue. I wish I knew. I'm not sure. Who knows? I don't remember anything. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening. And then one of these. I have no idea. I don't have a clue. I wish I knew. I'm not sure. Who knows? I don't remember anything. Not remember. Remember. Okay. And let's listen. Who do we have here? I don't know. Some of them are by uh, listeners, right? Like Adi, uh, Cristina, Carlos, Elias. I don't know. Carlos, Elias, are you there? Okay. Uh, Rivas? Good evening, teacher. Present. I have no idea. Thank you, Rivas. Very nice. Uh, Claudia, I don't know. Daniel, I guess it is not available for tonight. David? I don't know if we don't have David now. Alejandra? Good evening. Hi. I wish I knew. Thank you. Okay, Evelyn. Hi. Okay, I guess Evelyn is there, right? Por ahí la vi. I don't know. Cool. Let's continue with Graciela. Are you there? Okay, we don't have Graciela. Guillermo? Present teacher, I don't remember anything. Thank you, Jose. Hello, Jose. Hello, hello, good evening, teacher. You can hear me? Yep, yeah, we can hear you. Very well. Thank you. Yeah, very well. Okay, good. What's your okay. phrase? I'm, I am not sure. I am okay. not sure. Good one. Uh, John? Are you now good evening, at home? Teacher, good evening, everybody. Um, I choose, uh, I know sure. Thank you. Okay, Katia, I guess is listener. Uh, Maritza? Present. I have no idea. Good one. Okay. Uh, Noe, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Who knows? 
Ok, who knows, thank you. And Gustavo. Hello, teacher, present. I don't okay. remember anything. Good one, thank you. Ok, here we have Oscar. Present, I wish I knew. Good, thank you. Rosalie, hi. Present, I don't have a clue. Good. Okay, uh, I don't know if, if Susana is here or Teresa. Uh, Good David. evening, teacher. Hey, Susie. Okay, your your praise. Hi. I don't remember anything. Good, thank you. Okay, let's listen to David. Hello, David. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, what's Present. your phrase? Uh, you. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Perfect. And these are like different phrases that you can apply when a person is asking you about something. Sometimes can ask you, for example, do you know when is the meeting? Do you know when uh, do we have to send the report? And so you can say, I have no idea. I wish I knew it. I'm, I'm not sure. So different forms to express that. Okay. We continue now with. Quite interesting, okay. You most of you, the majority said that men and women are the same level. Permita un moment. Okay, um, yesterday we were talking, and well, the day after this, yesterday as well, we were talking about uh, regular and irregular verbs. We know that in this case, for example, here we have eight, didn't, did, okay? We don't have problems with this, right? So in this case, um, we're going to have a practice. Vamos a tener la última práctica con respecto a esto. This is like a similar, uh, similar, uh, exercise. Okay, so I need you to have I will need you to, to have a screenshot with this uh, as thank you well, no, yes, you have some other phrases. Maybe we, we can have these screenshots and the same. Remember that we have to fill the sentences with the correct uh, form, past simple. ¿Verdad? Todas son afirmativas. Okay? So, of the appropriate verb and then match the sentences with the pictures. Okay? So, let's see this. Uh, what it, it is important is, thank you. Thank you for sending. Gracias por enviarlo. Okay. Remember, 15 sentences. Tenemos la primera. Daisy. El verbo skip. Sería skip. Sería un verbo regular. ¿Verdad? ED. Hay otros que son irregulares. Si tienen dudas, please check the verb list that I eh, sent to you. Pueden chequear el, la lista de verbos que les he enviado con anterioridad para que no tengan dificultades. Okay. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to send you in a moment. I'm organizing the teams. So you can have like a very good 
work and Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, I need you to accept the request. Okay, the same Noé and Doris, Evelyn. Alejandra, te llegó la solicitud. And Evelyn, te llegó la solicitud, ya te la envié. Evelyn. Okay, hay que aceptarlo.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. And we're going to check the answers and the options that you have from two to number 15. Remember that we have a uh, number one already answered. Just a uh, contestada. Daisy skipped the rope in the garden. That's number one. So David has some other. And then Guillermo. Okay, teacher, uh, number nine. Okay. Look, no, look, no, look, no, this is Robert Hanger, a beer house on the tree. Okay, let's see number nine. Robert Hung, mm -hmm. sería Hung es irregular. Mm -hmm. Yes, así, aunque parece regular. The hang is his home. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo, what about you? Uh, number five. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you see the sentences or it is uh, too much Zoom? Uh, no, it is okay. It is okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. What number? Number five. Tom sold lemonade. Okay. Thank you. Sell, so, right? Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, very nice. Uh, who else? Maybe we can have Oscar and then Maritza. Uh, the number 20. Okay, number 12. Yeah. Sí, 12. The lorry driver play, uh, changed the wheel of the lorry. I'm sorry, number 12, Jasmine. No. Ah, no, no, the, the number 11. Ah, Lori, 11, okay. Yes. Okay. 11, so, the lorry driver changed the wheel of the lorry. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Change. Okay, yeah, good. Maybe Maritza and then Noah. Number 12. Okay. Jasmine play. Play it. the piano. Okay, very nice. Play, 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 letter E. Mm -hmm. Okay, number 14, Leila Swan in the Sea. Okay, number 14, right? Yes. Swan, okay. Let's see. Yes, Leila Swam. Thank you. Okay, what about Maritza? No, ya me lo dijiste, ¿verdad, Maritza? Okay, what about Rosalie? The number six. Okay, what do you have the number six? Joe could, could mm -hmm. the paper into a smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. Smaller pieces, yes. That's the one of the verbs that we like. Okay. Thank you. Uh, maybe we can have in this case also Oscar to verdad? No problem. Okay, uh, Rivas and then John. Okay, Rivas. You have some some number centers. number three teacher, the young number... lady uh... So I'm on the beach. Okay, es parecida. Mm -hmm. Is this? Es lie. Sería así, ¿no? okay. The young lady. Mm -hmm. no. Lie lay es acostarse. Como tumbarse y todo eso. Entonces quizás okay. estaba tomando el sol. Lie, is, it's a verb and it is mentir. But also it means when you lie on the ground, when te, te tiras en arena, en la tierra, en la grama, mm -hmm. so you lie. Okay? Yeah, but that, that's it. Thank you. Uh, John? And then we go yeah. with Six, Gustavo. 16. Okay. I went home. Okay. Uh, Kyle, in this case, it's similar because it's run. Mm -hmm. Similar. Okay, so yes, I know it's kind of strange, right? 
But yes, Kyle ran home. Okay. Thank you, Gustavo. What about you? Or Susie, if you are ready. Gustavo, Susie. Number two. Okay, number two. Ain, Ain, o como se pronuncia eso? An, 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 slipped on mm -hmm. her homework. Yes, that's it. Sleep is in present. Mm -hmm. In past, we can say slept. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, I don't know if Teresa is ready or Alejandra. Maybe we can have these participations. Okay, if not available, Jose, are you available or Katia? Uh, yes, coach. Teacher, okay, please go ahead. One number. We have uh, available four number seven, eight. Number, number eight. Ten. Uh, uh -huh. Paul and James gave presents to each other. Yes, that's okay. Paul and James, yes. Gave mm -hmm. presents to each other. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Okay, and what about who else? Alejandra, I don't know if you are there. Katia, I don't know if you're available. And here we have also Evelyn. You have one, maybe, Evelyn, number four. Seven, eight, or thirteen. Okay, maybe she can uh, listen. We're going to continue maybe with um Oscar and then Noe. Please, could you help me? Number four, seven, eight, or thirteen. The number thirteen. Number thirteen. Uh, Hannah is studied for the test at home. Good. Yes. Yeah, that's totally correct. Thank you. Okay. Noé, and four. then we go with Guillermo. Okay, yes. number four. Mary dropped the litter in the recycling bin. Mm -hmm. That's a regular verb. Mary. Yeah, if you notice, these verbs are kind of, well, different. Maybe a little bit difficult. Guillermo and then Maritza. Okay, number eight. The bus driver uh, drove the bus to the station. Okay, the bus driver drove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the bus of drive. Okay, and Maritza, could you help me with number seven? The family, right? The family. Yo tenía slept on holiday on Monday. Okay, seven. Y okay, the family. Uh, uh -huh. Aquí sería went. Went. El pasado de go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No problem. I know some of them are kind of difficult. So if you notice, these are the verbs, right? Uh, skipped, number one. Slept, uh, lay, dropped. So, cut, went, drove, hung, gave, changed, played, studied, swam, run. These are the verbs, and we're going to continue with the class. Thank you for your participations. Really good ones. Okay. Let's talk about gossips. Have you ever been in trouble due to gossips? Cuando tenemos la palabra due significa debido a, due. También se utiliza de esta manera. Due date es como fecha límite. Es la fecha límite de entrega. For example, the reports, uh, well, due dates for the reports are uh, Friday 14. Entonces están diciendo que la fecha límite para la entrega de reportes es el viernes. ¿Verdad? Due date. Pero en este caso, due significa uh, debido a. Okay. Have you ever been in trouble due to gossips? Okay, tell. Let's listen to some of you. Who wants to be the first? If not, I can also select some of you. Uh, maybe we can have, in this case, Maritza. And then Noe. Difficulties with... Uh... No, difficulties. no difficulties. In trouble, no. Wow. So 
you no problems with the gossip. That's uh, really interesting because it's kind of common that people, yeah, uh, expand some false information. Thank you, Maritza. Okay, now what about you? Okay, Maybe yes. you, yes, right? Yes, I have been once saying very that gossip about me having done something wrong in an engine and it was not like that, right? And then they was inventing things so <laughs> like that. And I okay. was angry. <laughs> yeah, of course, because it, it was false. It was not true. Yeah. Okay. And it was uh, uh, in your work, related to your work, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So yeah, I, can, I can imagine whoever can say that. Whoever can get angry because of that, because it's false information, right? Okay. And at the end, what happened? Uh, you could solve. Uh, there was an acceleration of, of the. Of yeah, the there was an acceleration with the um, man that said that. But okay. So he accepted. Really... He accepted that it was. Yeah. It was not true, right? Yeah. Okay. That's so. So nice, good. It's a good feeling, right? But even you have bad times, like very, yeah, I don't know, embarrassing some uh, difficulties. Thank yeah, you, Noe. Because the client was in front of me when he said that. Yeah, you were the guilty, supposed to be the guilty. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But well, things that happen. And what about maybe we can have Rosalie? And then yeah. Jose? And um, yes, some, <laughs> some. <laughs> okay. some, but the one uh, the much I remember is that co-worker in my previous job, yep. she complained to my boss for a salary living that they gave, gave me. I confidently told him the amount, believing oh. that she was going to be happy for me. But she went to complain to my boss. Oh, come on. The, um, the amount uh, was equivalent uh, to what she earned. So equivalent, it was the top. Yeah, the same, same, uh -huh, the quantity. Same, same, uh -huh. very well. Um, but my boss called me. Okay. For, so... for, for say, for say, a, 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 confi a confidently for uh -huh. me. For you, okay. Uh -huh. me, uh, he did um, good, right? He did correctly, yes. let's say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I said. <laughs> oh, she was inventing about different quantities and come on. And it is really, it's really disgusting because it's talking about money, right? And something like what? Okay. So, yeah. I don't know how people can invent things and they try that the other people believe that, okay? Try to make it real. Okay, so I don't know. Uh, thank you, Rosalie. Yes, yeah, like bad intentions, right? Yeah, and they have oh. bad heart. Yeah, yeah. bad heart. They, they, they want to be make... sick in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they have a special space in hell. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What about uh, maybe Jose and then Oscar? Uh, okay, teacher. Good evening. I have some questions, teacher. I was wondering what is the meaning of gossips. Okay, gossips are uh, false information about you, chambres or chismes. People invent things about you. And then, teacher, I can say uh, I had some some troubles due to. Uh -huh. Okay, could you mention one? Okay, uh, I had some troubles 
do to some some things on my job teacher some gossip like because some things that I did in the past and stuff like that right things that are not true <laughs> okay also in my neighborhood with people right from my hood okay. right when I argue with them mm -hmm. it usually happens sometimes when we have like discussions or we argue so okay so but at the end, did you yeah, have we, problems we, because we, of that? Did you have problems because of that? Uh, nowadays, no, teacher. Uh, I I solved all those things, teacher. So okay, I done. Thank you. Okay, that's good because maybe in the past uh, that uh, things those, those gossips uh, affected you, but now you're okay. Thank you. Yeah, in some cases, I have uh, uh, agree. Okay. Yes, of course they regret that. That's the point. Uh, thank you. Regret. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Regret is arrepentirse. So there are some people that, as Jose said. Yeah, they invent things, and then at the end, some of them regret, some of them. Okay, thank you. We go with Oscar and then Guillermo. Okay, Oscar, what about you? Well, in my case, in my neighborhood, I don't have uh, problems with the gossips because I don't get up and don't have contact with with the people that there is near of my house, oh. uh, but in my work, uh, I think in between men and men and women uh, is the same because we have uh, 23, 25 uh, persons and uh, se dice mitad? half, half, half. half uh, is Men and, men half, and half uh, women. Women, yes. Uh, it may be the man is uh, when or who I have more problems by the gossips. Okay, um, okay. With men, you have more problems with men. Yes. Uh, yes. Talking about gossips. Okay. Yes. Maybe. Because, uh, like, like you, like you say, uh, uh, the gossip is about. Uh, Things there is no true, yeah. No totally things true, true. Mm -hmm. and no speak with the with the people about the things. Okay, I have like an idea about men. Why sometimes men do these things, and because they uh, maybe it's like envy, envidia, envy. So. I I know a, a a type of men that they invent things about you because uh, they want that that information that is false uh, goes to the girls to the women so they want to make you present like a bad person in front of girls in front of women I don't know why some men do that I don't know if that is your case but I have seen that. Maybe in my so. case, in my, in my case, maybe not. Not, uh, not, maybe, not your case, okay. No, in my case, maybe not. But in a certain point, there are problems more with men. But it's very strange, okay? But yeah. yeah, problems with men. Thank you, Oscar. So you can say that maybe the same because of your experience. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Oscar. Very good uh, anecdote. Guillermo. Okay, my friend, problems with the gossip? Mm, let me see. Yes, I, I remember that once uh, they had made a gossip uh, that I made fraud in the company. Oh, come on. Well, it was... Um, era como tonto pensar eso por la posición en la que ella tenía en la empresa. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but that's that very delicate. Que pasa que 
pues ser como de un asesor a ya trabajar con Avianca directamente, Okay. entonces tenía como extras ilimitadas, entonces, como miraban que tenía un sueldo como de mil dólares, entonces ellos decían, ah, este anda haciendo algo malo, Yeah, maybe anda this tomando su tajada. yeah takes advantage of your position. Mm -hmm. Correcto. Entonces, como miraban que llegaba gente así de Avianca y ellos eran el cliente, pues yo estaba con ellos, pero porque ese era mi trabajo. No es que yo me andaba eh, aprovechando de ellos. No, but maybe in that case people uh, thought, yeah, there are some commission, there are some bonus that Guillermo receives for the, those Sí, correcto. uh, business, for, for those treatments, for those tratos. But come on, that is that what I said at the beginning, information that is not confirmed. You have to prove that, okay? So, well, it's uh, similar to Rosalie related to money, right? Because in some Yes. other uh, situations, there are some gossips related to other things. Yes, but in your case, it was. Yes, dice Rosalind. Me dolió, dice. Yeah. Este, eh, lo que pasa es women, the women are more expressive. Oh, okay. Yeah, But, they're more expressive. but Mm -hmm. if they listen, gossip between men. out on invite or for some girl uh, Okay. the troll is for for e uh, events similar Okay. Yeah. Well, it is like maybe girls. I don't know. Maybe they can add more information because yeah, men are gossipers as well. But maybe girls can add some must add more information, and, and that's more. The problem increases. The problem becomes like bigger. Thank you, Rosalie. We're going to continue later with this. Now, let's see about, let's check some vocabulary related to accountants. Match the different financial statements. Financial, very strange word. Financial, financial statements with their definitions, okay? Compared with a partner. So, in this case, here we have cash flow. Income statements, equity statements, balance sheet. I'm going to give you time for you to read and then we're going to complete this. We have to match. Tenemos que unirlos. Okay, let's check this. And in this case, here we have cash flow. Cash flow in Spanish is flujo de caja. And letter B, income statements is estado de resultados. And letter C is a declaración de patrimonio. And D, a hoja de balance. So I need you to tell me, well, to read, help me reading, okay? 
Uh, then we're going to uh, match, but first let's read. Noe, could you read please just this? And then we're going to match at the end, but I need you to read. Reports. Okay. Okay, sorry, I had trouble. The number no, no one problem. report report the change retirement earning of a company during this steady period. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So uh, here we have this. That is uh, during the steady period. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo, could you read number two? Okay, so report a company assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point in time. Thank you. Oscar, please, could you read number three? Yes, report on the company's incoming and outcoming of cash, its operating, investing, and financing activities. Thank you. Rosalie, could you help me with number four, please? Summarize. Summarize, summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. Okay, thank you. So remember, cash flow, eh, flujo de caja, income statements, estado de resultados, equity statements, declaración de patrimonio, balance sheet, hoja de balance. Uh, here we have this. Maybe we can have, we can start with letter B. Does anybody know letter B? Alguien sabe la, la letra B? Estado de resultados. Okay. Or letter A, cash flow, or equity statements, or balance sheet. No problem if we have some difficulties, we can com we can compare with the uh, answers, okay? Uh, David, do you have an idea? Teacher, I think leader, leader D is number two. Yeah, that's correct. Letter D is number two, balance sheet. So, uh, reports a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point in time. Guillermo, tell me, my friend, which one? Uh, I think the letter B is for number three. Okay, letter B is le it's number three. Yes. Okay, almost, my friends. And what we have here... What well, we have here in, in the in the answers key, we have letter A, cash flow, very interesting, right? Reports a company incoming and outcoming of cash, maybe because of this keyword, it's operating, investing, and financial activities. Uh, what about letter B or letter C? Does anybody have an idea? Teacher number one letter C. Yes, it's that's it. Number one, equity statements reports on changes in retained earnings of a company during stated period. And obviously, letter B, income statements summarizes the company incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. Maybe you can have a screenshot of this. Uh, it could be useful maybe for the homeworks. Okay, so it's better to have an idea about what we are talking about. So in case you need uh, this information, you can have it in your cell phone. So here we have, okay, cash flow, income statements, equity statements, balance sheet, okay? Let's continue. And let's go with the other exercise. And here we have this, look. Uh, discuss with a partner, but let's uh, give our opinion about ideas. Number one, uh, I need you to help me reading. Could you help me Maritza please with number one? These are ideas. We can say we agree or don't agree. Okay, remember that as I told you before, agree versus don't agree. Cuando están de acuerdo o no están de acuerdo. Agree versus don't agree. Uh, okay Maritza, could you read number one please? 
Just read. It's so important to know about the income or come a company has. Mm -hmm. It is not so important to know about the income. Mm, I don't know. Depends on you. Thank you, Maritza. Uh, let's continue with uh, here we have maybe Rivas. Can you help me with number two? Last year. The teacher last year accompanies owner fire many people. The owner carried such action to save the company. Okay. So last year, uh, the company's owner fire despidió many people to save the company and oscar number three please could you read it is mandatory it is mandatory for everybody to check on his her profits to see how much can be invested or spent okay yeah thank you so um anybody could say i don't know maybe one two three uh, remember, number one, it is not important. No es importante, blah, blah, blah. Number three. Uh, number two, last year, uh, many people fired. Uh, three, it is mandatory, okay, for everybody. So you tell me if you agree or don't agree, okay? Remember that profit is ganancia. Mm -hmm. So, Guillermo, could you mention uh, one, two, or three? Just one, and you tell me if you agree or don't agree. Mm, number one, mm -hmm. I don't agree with with that because it's really important to know um, all that is income and outcomes of the company. Mm -hmm. Of for, course. Because if, if they have a, a demand, for fraud, they have uh, like, uh, tienen como pruebas. Uh, they have proofs. The looking proofs, right? The looking ingresa. Yes. That everything every that incomes and outcomes of the company. Mm -hmm. And even you can think about continue working in that company or not, or maybe that company is going to have problems. So you can have an idea what can happen in the future, right? So that's why you don't agree because yes, it is important to know about that. Noe, what about you? Uh, one, two or three, you tell me if you agree or don't agree. Mm, I think number one, I'm not, I don't agree okay, you because don't. the company have to be secret thing with their things that do right mm -hmm. yeah that's it and uh, it is so uh, uh, important that every company uh, should be transparent about yeah the incomes and outcomes thank you what about oscar and then rosaline you tell me one two or three and uh, agree or don't agree Uh, the number two, I agree. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, because if, if I I think like a, a owner, you and, think like an owner. Okay. You yes, your, that's and, your company, right? Yes, and, and the actions is more usually is about fire the people. Yeah, it is like a matter of administration, right? So there is an evaluation. And I know that people want to work, but if people continue working, maybe the company can go down. So that's one of the reasons yes, and, and, why. And maybe sometimes the owner, uh, with the time, ¿cómo se recontrata? Ah, hire again. Mm -hmm. Just uh, can be an option. Can be and, like a period, like a bad, a bad period, and then uh -huh. recover. And any companies do this action uh, with the time. Uh, the people return to to his his work. 
his his uh, to their positions. Yeah, I have seen those cases. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, Maritza and Rosalind. Number three. Mm -hmm. Agree. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it is necessary, we know the financial situation. Mm -hmm. That's that's true. And because here we have profits, ganancias. Yes. It is important to check that, right? Yeah. Yes. Because we're checking about money. Good. Uh, Rosalie, and then we go yes. with David. And number three num is agree. Uh, hmm? Because it's necessary to take care of our own money. <laughs> yes, it's necessary. Our profits, our money, something that you have invested. Thank you. Okay, uh, David, maybe, and then Rivas. Number two, teacher. Hmm? Uh, agree. Uh, okay. It is a strategy not to close the company and save some jobs. Mm -hmm. well, however, uh, there are other strategies that can be evaluated, evaluated? No sé si es correcto la palabra evaluated. Yes, evaluated, to say, evaluated. Mm -hmm. Evaluated to say the company, for example, cost, cost reduction. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, very nice, thank you. Okay, Um, we have like very important points here, right? Uh, Rivas, uh, and then John. Rivas, you have a, a, maybe a, an opinion about this? Okay, teacher number three, mm -hmm. I agree uh, because it is interesting to go to invest in projects. Yeah, that's it. Uh, there are a lot of projects, there are some uh, investments that you can do and you have to check, uh, you have to be like uh, checking, yeah. How is the statistics? Thank you. John, what about you? Um, Any idea? Number two, um, I don't agree. Okay, um, you don't agree. But um, other less drastic measure uh, can be take, taken such as um, relocating them. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Um, Maybe there are some other strategies, right? That can be implemented yes. instead of firing a lot of people because many people, it is a big difference firing like five people, right? Seven, but many, yeah, a lot of problems. Okay, uh, thank you for sharing your opinions. I guess all of your opinions as always are so important. So, um, in this case, we're going to check this. Okay. How to use so and how to use such. Okay, look at this. How to use so and how to use such. In this case, and uh, here we have this. But um, let's see. Maybe uh, you can help me reading. I will need that you help me in this case, I will ask to John with so, please. Uh, sorry, I, I cannot hear. Okay, uh, please help me reading this sentence. Okay, so uh, it's so necessary for the company. It is so important to check the reports uh, the projects were so well made and our ideas were so imaginative. Thank you. So if you notice, uh, there is a key. Hay una clave acá. After so, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what is going on here. El adjetivo, no. Yeah, that, that, that's adjetivo. the key. Yeah, here we have, I don't know what is going on here. So, yeah, look at this. 
so necessary as John is saying. So important. Pueden decir important o pueden decir important. Así hay muchas personas, there are a lot of people that they pronounce like this. Como estas palabras. Um, este es solo un, un pequeño comercial. Pueden decir important, mountain, curtain. But I have heard a lot of people that they say important, mountain, curtain. Entonces, en lugar de tan o ten, dicen hmm. O sea, como que no abren la boca. They don't open their mouth. So you can say, what are you saying? What is that pronunciation? So, but though, those are like keys for you to have an idea how English can be pronounced, okay? Important, mountain, curtain. Well, uh, let's continue with it. So, so, so necessary, so important, so well, so imaginative. Okay, in this case, uh, I will need, please, um, uh, Rosalie, could you help me please reading such, such. It is such a creative program. It is such a significant investment. The report was such a useful tool before. The last product was such a big success. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's it. If you notice, here we have adjectives as well, but we have the article A, o como algunos dicen A, okay? So in this case, it is like key. If we have this, it is easier to complete uh, this uh, like exercise, okay? Yes, such a creative, such a significant, such a useful, such a big, such a So based on this, and here we have six uh, sentences, complete the sentences with so or such, then compare with a partner, okay? Uh, you tell me from one to six, yes. if you have an idea. Okay, who else? John, right? Yes, I have a question. Um, yeah. what, what does uh, so mean in Spanish? Okay. So means a lot of things. Significa varias cosas. Por ejemplo, yo me quedo, if I make a pause and I'm talking. So I was saying, entonces en este caso cuando utilizamos so es, significa entonces. Entonces, como le estaba diciendo. But in this case, so significa tan. So it is so necessary for the company. Es tan necesario para la compañía. Es muy necesario. Ok. Eh, igual en las frases. I love you so, o I love you so much. Te amo tanto, o te amo muchísimo. So it increases the importance of this. Como que incrementa, ¿verdad? Es como, como que expresa con, con mayor énfasis, ¿ok? So, tan. En cambio, such, en este caso, it is such a creative program. Es un, es un programa, un tanto creativo, podría ser como parecer, es como para decir siempre el tan, pero como que y es importante, pero tiene, digamos, su rango, como que so es más eh, magnificador que el such. ¿okay? It is such a significant investment. Es un, una inversión un tanto significante. The report was a such useful tool before. El reporte Fue una herramienta un tanto útil antes. So that could be tan or un tanto. That is something that we use here eh, in Spanish. Eh, yeah, Rosalie. Um, sería así como so el 100 y so el 50. Yeah, could it be Algo maybe me, maybe 80, 80 percent. Um, yeah, but Talking in those terms, yeah, hablando de esos, de, de, de esos eh, términos la, como eso, ¿verdad? Por lo, que, por lo que puedo entender, así en español, ¿no? Es eh, el show, eh, 
va antes de un adjetivo Correcto, y el ya. Yeah. Y el soch va antes de un adjetivo y un sustantivo. Ajá. ¿Me equivoco? Sí, sí. Así es. Eh, también es, por ejemplo. Ok. Mm, soch. Ah. Es otra frase, ¿verdad? Soch. Soch. Uh, shame. Podría ser, ¿verdad? Es, aquí simplemente sería, es una, una frase que diría como que es, es eh, una pena, such a shame, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden decir teacher, pero no es necesario escribir such, ¿verdad? Pero es parte de esas frases, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. So, otra cosa, que el such se utiliza también como para poner ejemplos. Por ejemplo, hay... I hate, voy a utilizar otro verbo. I hate vegetables such as uh, carrot, onion, and others. Odio los vegetales, tales como. ¿Ok? Tales como. ¿Ok? So, and you give examples. So, for you to have a, like another idea how the use of such and so. Mm -hmm. Esos son sustantivos contables, ¿no? Sí, son sustantivos contables. Mm -hmm. Pero en este okay. caso se pone como ejemplo, ¿verdad? I hate vegetables such as. Okay. It, this is very common. Es muy común eso. Mm -hmm. Pero ya le voy a presentar más información del so y el such. Okay. So, let's complete this. Vamos a completar, let, let, let's complete these uh, sentences from one to six. Very easy. Who wants to be the first? Okay. Very easy. Just follow the patterns. Solo siguen los, los patrones que les comenté. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can start with Noé. Okay, Noé, thank you. And then Guillermo, what number? Okay, number one. It mm -hmm. is good to know the cash flow. They are so important. Yes, they are so important. Thank you. Uh, Guillermo. Okay, number five. The mm -hmm. computer was such a significant invention. Yeah, good. Thank you. Good. Okay, who else? Can you notice? Not complicated at all. Right, maybe we can have this case, uh, John. Uh, number two, the architect is a uh, such a creative woman. Yeah. Bingo. And we can have maybe Maritza. Three, four, number or six. six. Then Rosalie. Mm -hmm. Checking your financial statement was so difficult before. Yeah, so difficult before. Thank you. Okay, uh, Rosalie. Hello? Okay, Rosalie. And then we go mm -hmm. with... Number three. Rivas. Okay, wireless. Wireless internet access is so convenient. Sí, yes. Okay, Rivas, could you help me please with number five? All the inventions. Number four, teacher, all the inventions we created are so popular. Hmm? That's it. Yeah, that is very, very simple, right? Teacher, uh, the question. Please. Number oh. six, ¿por qué no puede ser uh, such in number six? Ah, because it is was so difficult before, because here we have a, an adjective. Tenemos un adjetivo. Difficult es un adjetivo y no tenemos la letra A, el artículo A. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, such eh, se utiliza normalmente, no con otra palabra directamente. Por ejemplo, such a thing o such as. Y en este caso tenemos such a. Y la, le hace falta. Gramaticalmente. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, 
And thank you. Okay, let's continue with this. Um, let's move. Here we have some. Let's listen to some, some of you. What do you think about this? Have you ever been in trouble due to gossip still? Okay. Um, maybe we have David. And then we have John. Okay, David. Have you ever been in trouble? Hello, teacher. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, on one occasion, they confused. They confused me that I was in a place with a young woman. And <laughs> it... it <laughs> was wasn't me uh, i had a problem with my girlfriend yeah i can imagine that. <laughs> but in, in in the end everything cleaning up oh, okay yeah but even if that is cleared up you have some discussion you have some arguments with with, with because of that yeah that's something that it happened to me similar the <laughs> confusing yeah people okay but i'm glad i'm glad that you have a uh, like a good final of that anecdote thank you david uh what about if we go with john and then gustavo okay let me think in in my case um at work I have never had gossip problem that I remember. And but in my neighborhood, it is the opposite. Um there are there are always gossip problems with the neighbors, mm -hmm. but they are minus situation. I think. Okay, yeah, it's like small, small uh, problems, right? Yeah. Yeah. But well, that's good that uh, they are not affecting you. That's the most important. I have another anecdote. Okay, go, Noel. Momento para yeah. catharsis. Go ahead, my friend. Okay. Well, in my in my neighborhood, I'm blaming that me that I hit in a car and I show him the video vigilance of my camera and they didn't know what to do. And so it's a whistle. Guess a okay. man, yeah. But people were saying that you were the the guilty yes. of hitting a car. Yes. Okay, and that is a, another problem because some people can ask for money, right? Or, or say, okay, you have to solve the problem. Yeah, or is your the... mechanic? They can say, please, you have to fix that car, right? Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, I was, I had. Um, but evidence, um, yeah, evidence well, about the surveillance cameras somehow. Oh, that that's yep. so important having cameras, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, you you so you easily say, okay, here I have my evidence, so that wasn't me. Good, no. Yeah. But imagine yeah. if if you didn't have that evidence, it's going that could be like kind of difficult. Yeah, big problem. <laughs> Yeah, big problem for yeah. nothing, for free, no, gratis. Well, yes. Okay, thank you for sharing uh, no, another very crazy anecdote. Okay, um, Gustavo, I don't know if you are there, or Susie? Hello, teacher. Hi, Gustavo. Never that I remember, teacher. Oh, or cool. I, don't, I don't pay attention to gossip. Mm, that, that That's something good. We don't have to pay attention for false or fake information. But there are some cases in which we can be like victims and we can have more bigger problems. But thank you, Gustavo. Good for you. Okay. So fortunate. Uh, Susie and then uh, maybe Rivas. I don't know if Susie is there. If we don't have Susie available, let's go with Rivas, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, yes, 
doubt the misinterpretation of expression, but the finally dissolved. Okay. Okay. Um, there are something that are means. There are something that are misunderstood. Something, eh, algo que es malentendido. Okay. Right. Very common. And those, eh, that kind of information can change and add more information. And that's it. Okay. Thank you. Well, uh, I don't know if Katia is available. I guess she's a listener, Alejandra or Evelyn. I don't know. Evelyn has not participated tonight. Okay. Uh, let's move. Here we have um, okay. We're going to have a speaking activity related to this. Let's talk about the word. Okay, look at this. Here we have different conversation cards. Every card has uh, one or two questions. For example, let's focus on some of them. Let's Let's this, okay? This is one example. In which jobs do you have to wear uniform? Give minimum three examples. So you ask this to your partner and your partner say, okay, number one, electrician. Number two, a janitor. Number three, a, you can say engineer or whatever, okay? And the other is, do you prefer working indoors or outdoors? Prefieres trabajar eh, dentro de oficina o, o, o fuera o, o, o al aire libre? So you can say, well, yes, I, I like to work outdoors because of the environment, the, the weather, blah, blah, blah. Or here we have this. Which job would you never want to do? Trabajo que nunca quisieras hacer. Why? Ah, for example, eh, north because I don't like blood and so on, okay? So I need you to select at least, let's listen, yeah, three questions. Elijan tres de estas, three questions, okay? And ask to your classmate and take notes y tomen notas. And then the other classmates, uh, the, he or she is going to ask you, le va a preguntar, verdad, acerca de esos, y anoten la respuesta. Then we come back and we present information. Keyword interesting, uh, for example, uh, we have in which jobs do you need to work evenings and weekends? Okay, mm -hmm. those are like uh, easy or, or simple questions. I needed to have screenshots, please, my friends, so you can have uh, like a better idea about this. Maybe you can send that, and I'm going to create with teams. And then we come back. Thank you. Thank you very much. So see you in a moment. Okay, I need you to accept, please. And see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, Susie, so puedes aceptar. And uh, maybe we can have.
Okay, my friends, uh, let's see here. Let's talk about work. And I need you to do something. Please select one of these questions and text the answer. Or, well, better, uh, well, better you tell me in speaking, okay? You tell me one question that you ask to your partner and then tell me the answer, okay? Let's listen to maybe Guillermo and then Maritza. Okay, Guillermo, one question and the answer of your classmate. Okay. I asked to Susana, um, would you prefer a job that pays well or a job that you enjoy? And she preferred that a job that, uh, that pays well. <laughs> I guess money is so necessary, right? So that is so important. important. So important. Thank you, Guillermo. Okay, let's listen to Noé. Eh, Maritza and Noé. Okay. The, num the question is, what kind of office work does a secretary do? Um, organize document and program meetings. Mm, definitely, that's true. Thank you. Maritza and Oscar. Uh, the question is, would you prefer a job that pays well or a job you enjoy? Mm -hmm. The he answer is? is? He prefer a job he enjoy because he, he life is job. Okay, nice. Who said that? Who was your classmate? Me. Really good, no? Yeah. <laughs> Me, sir. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Oscar, and then we go with Rosalie. Okay, in my case, uh, the question is, do you prefer working indoors or outdoors? Why? And she answered, uh, indoors because it's more comfortable by the AC, by the, 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 the hill, oh, yeah. and by the, uh, the, the clima. What do you say? The weather. The weather. weather. Yeah. yeah. Yes, open the climate. But the weather. Yeah. Good reason. Thank you, Oscar. And uh, we go with Rosalie, and then we go with John. Um, the question is in, in which job would you never want to do and why? Uh, he he says is policeman because he is dangerous. Oh, okay. Yeah, good reason because he's dangerous. Okay, nice, Rosalie. We go with John and then we go with Rivas. Okay, my question, um, what would uh, you like to be? Why? Um, a museum. Why? Uh, because I like to compose scores. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you. Rivas and Gustavo. Hey, teacher. What job do you need to work nights and weekends? Uh, industrial plants, call center, and restaurant. Yeah. Mainly restaurant. Thank you. Okay. Uh, after Rivas, maybe we can have David and Lucy. Hey, David. Hi, teacher. Uh, for example, car number five. Uh, which job pay well? The answer. The answer. Uh, call center. Uh, banks, government employment. Okay, Jose. Thank you. Jesus and Jose. Okay. Uh, I asked uh, to Guillermo, do you think boring? Quiero ver, perdón. Ya me perdí cuál era. Okay, no problem. Select one. 
What is the job most boring in the in the world? Creo que decía, pero no la encuentro. Aquí está. In your opinion, what is the most boring job in the world? And Guillermo says that the most boring job in the world will be being a watchman. No sé si así se... Yeah, watchman. Okay. Could it be? Yeah, could it be? Thank you. Uh, Jose, maybe you have your, your question? Uh, yes, teacher. In my case, with my partner, the question was, which jobs pay well? Give me three examples. And he was telling me that basically our banks, government employment, right, and call centers. Yes, good example. And, all, and also internet companies. Because in my case, in my job in Color Color, we work even weekends without rest in some cases. So. Yeah, do can. That's my point. Okay. With real information. Thank you. Okay, and we're going to finish with this. Look. Okay, look at this. So versus such. Okay. Look at this. We can say about so and such that both of them usually have the same meaning. Casi que tienen el mismo significado, como decir muy o very. Pero hay diferencia. Both of them show extremes. Muestran extremos. We can use both of them to add emphasis to a sentence. Te empatizo. And although they have some similarities, there are some main differences in their use in the sentence. Okay, yeah, and that's true. For example, one of the first uh, characteristics that somebody said, number one, okay, okay number one, so plus adjective, como les decía, verdad? El so se utiliza más el adjetivo, ¿ok? So plus verb, también se puede utilizar con verbos, ¿ok? Mark seems so unhappy. He speaks so quickly. Aquí es, hay un error, miren. Le hace falta la S aquí. Tiene que ser speaks porque es tercera persona, pero bueno. And number three. So plus judgmental adjective. Cuando se está haciendo un juicio, digamos, con un adjetivo. It's so rainy outside. Como que se está afirmando demasiado, con demasiado énfasis. Four. So much, many, few, little now. There are so few cars in the parking. Hay pocos carros en el parqueo. O muy pocos carros. Ok, no vamos a decir tan pocos carros. Pues, tal vez, ¿verdad? Pero entonces en este caso se puede utilizar con much, many, few. Luego tenemos el such. Such debe de ir el a o el an más el adjetivo más el sustantivo. Number one. She's such an intelligent boy. Two. He's such a liar. Don't be such a fool. And three. Here we have such plus uh, the similar, okay? But in a question, pero una pregunta. What did you say such a thing? ¿Por qué dijiste tal cosa? Okay, why did you say such a thing? Okay, if you want, you can have a screenshot. Puede tener una captura de pantalla. Creo que esta información les va a ser eh, bastante utilidad. I guess this uh, concludes the most of important thing. De las cosas más importantes aquí se concluye. Okay. So I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening. Y eh, nos despedimos, okay? Recuerden avanzar, remember to advance with unit 4, avance con la unidad 4, el, el otro martes terminaríamos por completo, ¿ok? Um, bueno, ¿alguien que le gustaba el listo? Yeah, ok, let's, 
them through. I don't know. Yeah. Riva? Present teacher. Claudia. David. Present teacher. Alejandra. Problema. Teacher, no se escucha. Y ahora, ahora sí. Sí, hoy sí. Ahora sí, yeah. ahora sí. Ok, thank you. David, Andra, no sé si. Evelyn, Coco, Graciela, Guillermo, yes, right? Present. Ok. No se escucha, teacher. I cannot hear you. Ok. Señal está afectando. Ok, eh. I am here. Ok, Pero thank you. John, creo que está. ¿Ahora sí? No, tampoco. Sí, ahora bueno. sí, Tichi. Thank you. Eh, Katia, no sé. Eh, Maritza, hello. Present. Thank Good you. night. Hi, Noé. Hi. Hi, teacher, present. Thank you, Gustavo. Present, teacher. Thank you, present. Oscar. Present. Rosalí. Present. Good night. Thank you, Susi. Present, good night. Okay. Ah, eh, Gustavo, ¿puedes quedarte ahora para la sesión, please? Ok, teacher. Okay, el resto, nos vemos. Eh, see you tomorrow. Okay, okay bye see bye. you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Ok, Gustavo, ¿puedes escucharme? Sí, de ya. Ok, eh, ¿tienes alguna duda de algún tema? ¿Algún refuerzo que consideres que necesito? Sí, fíjese de que más que todo siento de que me está costando ahorita un poquito de pronunciación. Este, pero, pero sí estoy este, tratando de leer para, para mejorar en eso. Este, sí. No sé, ¿algún, conse algún consejo? algún sí. Tengo un par, tengo un par. Por ejemplo, algo que es importante. Bueno, si dejas de escucharme, me avisas porque la señal. Vaya, se ve. Ok, eh, el primero sería leer en voz uh -huh. alta. En uh -huh. voz alta. Por tanto, si lees en voz baja, no vas a desarrollar la fluidez a través de tus labios y la lengua. El inglés es como un trabalengua. Ajá. Sí, en un trabalengua, entre más lo practicas, te sale mejor. Lo primero. Lo segundo que podrías hacer, aparte de leer en voz alta, es grabarte. Grabarte ah, okay. lo que estás diciendo. Por ejemplo, eh, elige dos oraciones, o pa, dos líneas en inglés, todos los días, en una noticia. Uh -huh. Y esa, esa no, misma noticia, cópiala y pégala en el traductor de Google. Ahí hay un espacio para que te dé una bocinita para que escuches cómo se pronuncia. Intenta uh -huh. imitarlo. Lo grabas una vez, te va a salir más o menos. La segunda vez te va a salir mejor. La tercera vez te va a salir bastante. Bien. Okay, Entonces, la práctica. También. Ajá, eso. Y grabate, porque a veces uno siente que se escucha raro en inglés, como que no mucho, pero hay que adaptarnos a nuestra voz. Y poco a poco, vos vas a ver que, vas a notar que cuando hablas inglés, no es otro Gustavo, sino que es el mismo que habla en español y en inglés. Porque a veces se sí. siente como que es otra persona, ¿verdad? Que habla inglés, pero eso. Lo segundo podría ser aprenderte la, los coros de las canciones y cantar. Ajá, sí. Ajá estoy, estoy también este, trabajando en eso. Escucho bastante, bastante música en sí. inglés. 
de la que sea. ¿Cuál, cuál es la música que más escuchas? Para ir escuchando la pronunciación. Este, sí, más es. que todo, solo, solo clásicas, este, como de los 80, música sí, tranquila. Sí, y principalmente busca baladas o románticas. Eso claro. es súper importante porque como van lentas, es más fácil pronunciar. Y poco a poco va buscando canciones más rápidas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso ayuda como no tienes idea. Y lo otro es que cuando veas series y trata de ver, o películas, trata de verlas en inglés. Y cuando sean algunas frases que vos veas, intentarlas decir. Ah, okay. Entonces, y te vas a dar cuenta que al final eh, es como que estás uh, aprendiendo una cultura, parte de la cultura, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. yo considero que tenés buen vocabulario, gusta o tener buena pronunciación, solo hace falta práctica y obviamente aprender más palabras. Pero... Así que poco a poco siento que no okay. estás perdido, tenés la habilidad, Gustavo. Es la práctica, ya vas a ver. Okay. Si lo practicas okay, todos los días, aunque sea unos tres minutos, vas a notar la diferencia. Sí, eso estoy tratando, estoy tratando. Eso, es práctica, es práctica, y de ahí te vas a sorprender, de ahí vas a dar un paso grande, vas a subir varios escalones, y de repente vas a decir, hey, ya estoy hablando, tengo más fluidez. Okay. Así que, pues, esos son los consejos, Gustavo, así que ánimo, ya solo nos quedan cuatro clases, y terminamos. Bueno, bueno. Bien, excelente, pasa feliz noche entonces, Gustavo, cuídate. Nos vemos mañana. Nos vemos. Bye -bye.